Before we get into this video, I would like to say that the information we're going to be discussing today comes from Notebook Check. If you would like to go through the articles and check out more specific details, a link to the source will be in the description below. We've been getting Ryzen 3rd Gen leaks for the past few months, and the general gist of things is that we're going to be getting a big jump in core count as well as a drop in price. Well, with these new leaks, we've actually gotten some more interesting information regarding the specific hardware features of these new CPUs. First off, AMD is apparently mixing two different manufacturing nodes to produce these chips. According to our source, they're leaked to be using the new 7 nanometer production process, which is used in the Radeon 7, to create the cores in these chips, but we'll be using TSMC's more mature 14 nanometer lines to produce other controlling and I.O. related packages on the die. This not only opens the doors for higher core count chips, but also would let AMD be more efficient with their silicon, and produce more powerful chips at a lower price point to the consumer. Now, this is exciting, but I'm also a little confused by certain pieces of information, such as how exactly they would get this to work as they would need to put several packages on the chip. But the next big piece of news helps to work around this. According to Tech Power Up, AMD is developing a new Infinity Fabric that offers a significant bump in performance. This new development would allow AMD to boost memory bandwidth by nearly 200%, and would allow them to create these multi-package chips as they could work around the physical space between the different pieces of silicon. Another big leak to have recently surfaced is the new release date for these CPUs. While this leak is poorly sourced, it also makes quite a bit of sense, but keep in mind that there is a high likelihood of this being false. Recent leaks are showing that there is a planned release window for the new Ryzen 3000 chips in July of 2019. While it's still quite a ways away, AMD is reportedly waiting on TSMC to catch up to demand with their hot new 7 nanometer production process. More specific details regarding these new CPUs is expected at Computex later this year, and if these leaks are true, it could be a very exciting time to be an enthusiast. But we'll just have to wait and see. Realistically, these leaks make sense, but it's very possible that there is some false information in here. We won't really have to wait that long, so let's just wait and see what comes of this. Either way, I'm excited and rather optimistic about these new developments, and I can't wait to see how Intel responds to AMD's hands. So thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed or want to stay up to date on all the latest developments regarding Ryzen 3rd Gen, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and click the bell icon so you'll be notified about all our future uploads. And also, tell us, what do you think of these new leaks? Will you be looking at getting one of these CPUs when they release, or are you a bit cautious with this information? Tell us what you think. I can't wait to see what you have to say, and I hope you have a fantastic day. So thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.